in this video I'm gonna show you exactly how to get one of the mightiest bows in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, the mighty Lionel bow times 5 without killing any Lionels. This is Michael and welcome to the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. In order to get a times 5 mighty Lionel bow, we first need to pick up a times 3 mighty Lionel bow. And we're gonna do that at the Cape Kills Cliff Base Cave, which is located in the southeast next to the Nucluda Sea. Exactly this spot. So just jump off here, paraglide a bit farther out, skydive down, and you can see the cave in the wall already. Get your paraglider out again, so you can easily just glide in. As you can see here, the wall is closed and the way to open this is just to whistle. Whistle and door, or the wall opens. Now we only have to swim a little bit, so we're gonna speed up the video since that's not really important. There you can see a big ship, and the ship is where we need to go. Just go from platform to platform, make sure you have enough stamina. And the easiest way to get on the ship, because climbing is almost impossible, is to use our ascent ability. So from the platform, ascend to the ship. When above, you can see six or seven skeleton enemies. While fighting, we're just gonna speed up the video again because, well, who loves a good fight, right? Um, just be careful with fighting because some of the enemies shoot electricity. That can harm you very badly. Just try to kill the enemies the easiest way possible. And as you can see, I've just have the biggest issues with it. And to be honest, after making this video, I came across the fact that you don't really have to kill those enemies, but I thought it would be more easy to kill those enemies since then they won't kill you when getting the bow. All right, all enemies killed. Use your ascent option to go up here because we need to go up on one of the poles. One of the poles here on the ship has a treasure chest with the mighty Lionel times Trebo. Yeah, not here, other side, so let's paraglide to the other side. Climb up, open a treasure chest, and there you got the mighty Lionel bow times three with a strength of 20. By the way, if you like this video, then please give this video a thumbs up. Also, when you're there, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss my future content. So now we got a times three mighty Lionel bow with a strength of 20 but we need to upgrade it or place buffs to it. And we need to do that two times to make it a five times bow. And in order to do so, we're gonna go here to this spot, just outside of Goron City, which is reachable to the Marakugok Shrine. It's an easy walk. In the distance, there is an Octorok, which we need. Octoroks can improve your weapons, can give them buffs, and can get back the durability, full durability of that weapon. Just place it before him. He shines a little bit and he blows out the bow. Let's pick it up and let's see what we got. See, we got a mighty Lionel bow times three with a durability up buff right now. It's just a 
blue upgrade and we need a gold upgrade to make it possible, which means that we have to do it again. But since this Octorok can only, well any Octorok in general can only upgrade items once, that's why we're killing them. So when a new Blood Moon arises, this one will respawn and we can use this all over again. For the second upgrade, we're going to this part here, almost at the other side of Death Mountain. As you can see, there's also an Octorok there. And we're gonna redo basically the entire process. Just walk towards it. Make sure you avoid his attack. The only difference here is that we make a hard save. And we do that because the second buff that he places doesn't have to be the five shot bonus. And we need a five shot bonus, so that's why we make a hard save. Let's drop the weapon and let's see what he gives us. He sucks it up. He will shimmer a bit. There we go. And he pits it out. Let's pick up the bow. And let's see what we got. Add durability up plus. It's a golden one, but not the one we want. So in this case, we're gonna load the game. And we do this because what I said earlier, one Octorok can only upgrade a weapon once. So we can't use it again. Now we're still here. Just drop the bow itself. Now with the blue durability up, and let's redo this process and hopefully the second time it will be the good one. This can take a couple of times, two, three, four, five. Just take your time for it. Eventually you will get the good buff you want. Let's pick this one up. There we have it, five shot burst. A mighty Lionel bow times five. Now we have it. And this basically means that you shoot one arrow and you got five for the price of one, which is really helpful. Also for duplicating items. When it comes to duplicating items with a bow, I will make a video of that quite shortly. If it's already live, please click the link in the right upper corner now. Otherwise, you just have to wait a few weeks. Anyways, now we got ourselves the mighty Lionel bow times five with a five shot burst, which is incredible. One of the strongest bows in the game and that without having to kill a Lionel. Anyways, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you liked it and see you all in my next video. See ya!